Hey guys, some uh, shoot footage uh, that I've recorded on my phone. Um, I had I, I took some time off. I had to do some things around the house. I was playing this. I do have one blooper at the end here, and I'll have the deck list in the comments. But uh, it's shoot matic. <laughs> not competitive whatsoever, but really fun. Let us get to the point. Uh, I ended up going up against a. Me friend here, which I haven't seen in a long time. So as you can see, it's got the. I, I I believe it only has three bombs. It might have four. Um. Kept the squirrel in case he does amphibious assault. And uh, against. Uh, Northern Realms shoot is huge because it can steal the uh, the Griffin Witcher that you can uh, use for pretty much the whole round. You, it, it doesn't usually win you the round, especially up against Uprising, but it makes it tough on them at least. They got to commit a little bit more because the card just crushes you the longer it sticks on the board. So we're gonna get the uh, Amphibious Assault value. believe he TAs it? No, he does not. We just move it first. I thought about stealing it with shoot, but I was like, nah, we can do better and we have a, an easy answer for it. I'm sure he's got a lot of chip damage, so the card's gonna pop off pretty good. I could have even used just the the elf that damages for the only unit on the board but running that right out the bat one thing i will say too about the ios footage they change something in these don't line up anymore and you can't see the charges which is kind of annoying um so he just drops the uh drummer so we want to get our viper witcher online or viper witcher our uh, cat witcher probably the best bronze in we the witcher debatable there's some the skeleton ones are pretty good too have to be careful of the card um, going too deep without using that uh elf I don't have any engines in hand, so I figured I'd just get that one done. Which is super awkward is this. The other bomb will move the other archer into the back right now. And I didn't want to do that, but I could do it now. 19 points. We can't pop it off now. We could go for the combo with thing, but we just pass. We just give up. Um, if he commits something super big, we got the shoop answer. Gaten's always a huge card. Making a bomb for the movement. We do have Alarin in this list. So Alarin and um, there's one other, the, the Matic, of course. You don't want Matic in here. So those are the two bricks you got to be wary of. So he starts out with another archer. I could just move it. The sky will burn with the eternal fire. And we're up. We got our thin out with the Matic. We still got um, Alarin as a possibility. To thin out as well. So now we have carryover on the Matic. Alarin's still in the deck. It goes Ballista, which you would. Why you would kill this, I have no idea, but. He just wants to get out, I believe. I could have procced it there. But I figured he was just going to jump out anyways. But he doesn't. He starts bleeding. You know, this is when it gets super sketch. Um, 
So we go ahead, we want to get this uh, elf value out. We gotta make sure we get there. If we have to, we can use a leader charge. We could be a little stingy. We don't have to, because we're up by one. Still got a couple elves. No real way to get the. Uh... It's like a no unit, and he killed my thing, which. If I had more bombs, I would just get value off of it. Um... But I could still get up with the archer, so I might as well take it. We could slow roll, stack front row, possibly get gate and value. In case he did have some movement, we killed the other one. Most people don't run Vincent, so if we have to, we can even... Yeah, it's like no unit Neve. So now I could just play the dwarf, get ahead. No worries. So it's not looking like he's getting his card back. I mean, I have the combo with Etriel and Merlega still waiting. It's looking good. It's looking good. <laughs> Brock Slide. Like, what is this deck? I, I didn't understand it at all. Um, I just play the Merlega. I figured if he does play anything, I can get the tall punish. If he doesn't remove it, I still got a seven point play. And I mean, a last say shoot is huge. I'm, I'm looking for units in this guy's deck. I still, he plays Falibor. So I get the full value um, Etrio, which is huge. So the only thing I'm really afraid of is Siege, I think. But I have the answer with Shoop Artifact Destruction. And I can play around it completely with the one uh, trebuchet. He passed. So he lost his card. Super ineffective bleed. Why you would use Falibor when you know my leader puts out threes and little stuff. We finally draw the Anero. That's one thing about the end, and we get the thing. So we keep all three of these. Oh, well, no, we don't have to because we can Anero a uh, elf. Risky one there. Um, I have the Mutagen to pull Gezerus, which is huge. And uh, I'm going to get... I went back row, which was wrong. I should have went front row because I have the gate. And... But we're going to have Aloran out as well, because we're going to have the full shebang. Oh, that's right, he did have, he had, he had like every removal card, but he's me. Um, super weird. Um, I want to say we just did Nero the three, um, and boost it up by two. Because we're going to use the mutagen thing to get uh, Gezerus. Other than Veep, Gezerus is probably the best card. So we get the bump. Yaven's going to just do really well. We're going to put all our Witchers out next, though. We're going to pull Gezerus. We still have, we still have, uh, shoot. I mean, he answered our artifact. We still got another huge bomb, you know, 12 point or more bomb. I think I dropped the, um, Yaven, though. Maybe a little greedy, but play it next turn.
He ends up killing him too, I think. Yeah. So it, it still plays for eight, and it's going to get a ping on the front too. If it lives. So we're at 19. I think he just passes here. I don't think he has anything really left. Yeah. Alright, so not, not too bad of a game of kind of a bad leader choice for the opponent, but we'll try one more here. Alright, so next one, a little bit more of a competitive one. <laughs> um, so, um, imposter friend. You beat this me of Gwendy cards. So we got some good cards. We got a couple bombs for uh thing. We want to always drop the Matic. We have to be careful of the Alaran. So we lead off with the Elven Archer. Let us sing the song of steel! We didn't want to. I didn't want to TA it because I figured he's just going to go uninteractive anyways with a tourney joust and then something else. Um, we could play the Viper Witcher and it stays low to the ground, so that's what we're going to do. I could have maybe drew. Yeah, I worked for the better to work with the mutagen, the mutation or whatever. But the nice thing is now is if he plays around my Witcher, I can use. The thing now this gets rough here. Vincent's my witcher. Super sad about it. So I'm I'm in rough shape. I didn't expect the Vincent. I never So I'm thinking I'm gonna lose on even now. I mean he being on the blue coin and not having really anything interactive really hurts. He gets the urchin out. I think I just move it. I didn't know really what else to do. And then I figured I could play the bomb and uh, get some value on the uh, movement. Or just straight up banish it. That one's real tricky, because if you... Damn it, he plays ball. And I'm just like... What? I just pass. I'm like, okay. You want the round, man. I'm not going to play into it. You're just going to thin a, bad, a bunch of bad aristocrats. I don't really have anything that locks other than Gezris. There's any... The archer died, so I was okay with it. I mean, I, th I figured I needed to get rid of the squirrel. I was too greedy, um, and I didn't want to draw Alarin. I figured that was a death sentence if he was just going to go for the full bleed. So we got nine cards. Want to get the uh, Matic out because there's still two bricks in the deck. With Matic and Alarin. War Council. When I was like a sergeant, we just banish it. We get the bomb out. Pretty good there. Thing that sucks is if he was the bomb friend here, he could copy it, then play his own bomb, banish it. And then play Kingslayer and get three of them. So this might have been a huge misplay, but <laughs> but it, it was going to happen either way. So so he goes Vigo. I figure I play the Etriol. I believe he just locks it, which it doesn't matter. We're not worried about it. We just wanted it for the carry. We're not fully invested into the. The leader. 
So now this is where it starts getting dicey for him. Because I have leader charges, so I could stay up. I'm scared of a defender. Because I don't have shoot currently. Or a Nero. He plays Cantarella. There was a lot of good things he could pull here. He pulls my Aloran. Which doesn't even get him up. We shall drive the ape man into the sea. Um, so we just take it now. We low roll, of course, because we're us. Um, and I'm pretty sure I play the Merlega for the low. And then if that jumps up to a five or a seven, we could take it out. So he gets his hunting pack out, which sucks. It didn't really get him anywhere, though. Um, so we just played the other uh, elf. And just hit one of the hunting packs. You're dead already. Still up. By three. We have a decent bomb with uh, Gaten. There's no armor on the board, which is nice. Usually if they have a Ramon friend, it might get kind of ugly. We stayed low to the ground, so these poisons aren't really giving them a great target. I could just play the bomb here and stay. Oh, I can't play the bomb, I don't think. So I just take it while I can, because it's going to die. Might as well get the body. It's going to play for a full eight. Could have been 11, but I figured he was going to play another poison. Which, that's no big deal. He kills a four. I could just uh, play that in a leader charge. We're all right with it. S still staying low to the ground, which is huge. Um, Never snip from the master's purifies table. that. Never. We're not really worried about it. I think I play Gaten now, because I didn't think I was going to get the value off it later on. Yeah. And I wanted to get the pass out of it. Really want to know. And then if he still wants to play around, I could just uh, now I could just play the mutagen and get the uh, uh, Gezers. I think he thought I was going to play it. But I always play it. When I play against this, I just play against the uh, thing. Now here's where he messed up. I forgot this game as well. He realizes he just gave me another Gaten. <laughs> and he's like, wait. What did I just do? I just gave him another bomb. And I still have two leader charges. So I'm pretty sure he forfeits here. <laughs> but, um, ah, just some fun games, uh, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, there's a blooper at the end to a uh, nice shoot, uh, uh, a shoot blooper. So uh, stick around for that after the uh, the credits and stuff. Um, thank you guys so much for everything. I'll see you next time. go for the charm. I think it's a bunch of... See what happened? We got it. Shoop <laughs> charm.
So he plays the other one, we can banish it. Beardy would be proud. 